When arriving at the client's home, introduce yourself to the client. Be respectful to the client and explain what you are going to do. Prior to starting any work, cover the floors with tarps to keep things clean. Disconnect the old furnace and remove it from the house and ensure there is a dedicated electrical circuit for the new furnace and a working emergency switch. Next, check the A-coil to see if it needs to be cleaned, if the pan or A-coil has any leaks, or if the condensate line is dirty. If you find problems, call Community Action immediately. Next, install the new furnace and reconnect the gas and electric. Reconnect or install new plenum and return drop if called for on the bid. If needed, install new dedicated electrical circuit for the furnace and a working emergency switch. If new ductwork is to be added, go over with the client prior to installation. Ensure that gas lines have no leaks and there are sufficient gas strip legs. Install a new thermostat if required on the bid. Seal all exposed ductwork with mastic. We expect you to clean and vacuum all return grills, supply registers, and immediate duct openings. Write filter size and mark the airflow direction on the return drop with permanent marker. Attach a pocket on the return drop for furnace manual and contractor sticker. Install a 4-inch water heater flue directly to the chimney. Secure the flue to the draft hood and secure the draft hood to the water heater. An orphan water heater flue can be installed into a chimney two sizes larger than the water heater flue. If a new liner is needed and not on the bid, call Community Action. Install condensate pump per bid. Condensate line will have to be secured to the floor drain or in the laundry tub. If not on the bid and the condensate pump line goes across a walkway, call Community Action. Add combustion air as needed per bid or if worst case draft fails. This is the before and after pictures of the back wall where all the venting changes took place. The old dryer venting was removed because it was too close to the window and the furnace exhaust was installed in its place. The dryer venting was relocated to 3 feet from the window, which put it too close to the existing combustion air. The existing combustion air hood was sealed in place and the new hood was relocated to the lower part of the exterior wall. These are all code items the bidder should be checking for. Finally, contractors should perform all furnace and water heater testing per Community Action's current testing requirements. Check gas pressure and clock gas meter. Perform natural draft test on the water heater using a pressure gauge by drilling a test hole one-third of the way down the water heater flue. Perform natural draft test on furnace using a pressure gauge by drilling a test hole through PVC pipe within one foot above the furnace. Perform a worst case draft test. All atmospheric combustion appliances used to heat the dwelling boilers, furnaces, and space heaters, or to provide domestic hot water must pass a worst case draft test. Any negative draft on the mechanical system or water heater is acceptable. The following steps outline the worst case draft test. Do not perform worst case draft test if wood burning furnaces, stoves, or fireplaces are operating. Close all windows and exterior doors. Turn on all equipment that exhausts air to the outside, including range hoods, bathroom, kitchen, or any other exhaust fans, and gas or electric clothes dryers. Turn off air conditioners and warm weather whole house fans. Turn on all combustion appliances such as furnaces, boilers, space heaters, and water heaters. Allow these appliances to operate for five minutes and then take their draft readings. In dwellings with forced air systems, make sure the furnace fan is on and running. If a plus 90% high efficiency sealed combustion two-pipe furnace is present, it is excluded from the worst case draft test but must be operating when the other appliances are being tested. If any appliance does not pass the test, try opening a nearby window or door to the exterior. Retest the appliance and if the appliance now meets the pressure measurements, then consider installing combustion air. If the appliance still does not meet performance indicators, look for and correct other problems, such as chimney or venting blockages. Retest the appliance after corrective measures have been completed. If the appliance still cannot pass worst case draft, call Community Action. Perform a combustion gas analysis of the furnace flue gases and ensure they are within acceptable range provided by Community Action. Write the date and the combustion analysis test results directly on the return drop in permanent marker. If you are not able to get all the levels within the specified ranges, call Community Action. Perform a heat rise test to ensure furnace is operating within the range indicated on the furnace data plate. Confirm all vents are open and clear. Call Community Action if any changes must be made to the duct system. Perform the static pressure test to ensure the furnace is within the range indicated on the furnace data plate. 
If the static pressure is not within the specified range, investigate to find out what duct alterations are needed to correct the static pressure. Call Community Action if any changes must be made to the duct system. Perform room-to-room -room pressure balancing according to Community Action step-by-step -step instructions. This test can be used to figure out where ducts can be added to correct static pressure issues and maintain a balanced duct system. All forest air systems having mechanical work performed must have room-to-room -room pressure balancing completed. Set up house for winter conditions. Close all windows and exterior doors. Turn off all exhaust fans. Turn on furnace air handler. Place the manometer hose a minimum of three feet into the room away from obstructions and supply and return grills. Close the door and be careful not to pinch the hose. Connect the hose to the manometer. A room pressure greater than plus 4.0 and less than negative 4.0 pascals will require pressure relief. To estimate the amount of area needed to provide the pressure relief, open the door until the difference drops between plus 4.0 and negative 4.0 pascals. Check supply and return ductwork for blockage and check all dampers to make sure that the flow is not interrupted. If needed, install high transfer grill in the room and low transfer grill in the hallway on the other side of the wall in the same stud cavity. If a transfer grill cannot be installed, call Community Action. Test thermostat amperage if thermostat has adjustable anticipator. Measure amperage of the gas valve and any other low voltage equipment on the control circuit and set thermostat heat anticipator to match. Test digital and setback thermostats for optimal performance. When installing a setback thermostat, walk the client through the initial programming process and leave the owner's manual with the client or in the furnace manual pocket. Fill out Community Actions mechanical form and have client sign Community Actions warranty form.